Hey guys, my name is Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five little happiness life hacks that I use on a daily basis just to make myself that little bit happier. I have been a little bit stressed lately because finals are coming up for me. So I thought what better time to share this with you guys and hopefully give some inspo to help make your guys' day just a little bit better as well. is you have to surround yourself with people that are good energy. People that are going to inspire you to be the absolute best version of yourself. Now understand that you won't always have these people in your life as well. If you do, you are very fortunate. But I know like for myself, especially in high school, I did struggle a lot to find people that were kind of on the same wavelength as me. But all I can tell you guys is if you personally are putting out that positive energy into the world, that is going to radiate and that is going to draw similar people like you and they will come. So just keep on working on yourself and your goals and putting out that energy into the world. If the people in your life aren't really doing this for you at the moment, then I have an answer that you do not worry. Surround yourself with dogs and surround yourself with trees because dogs and trees give up such great energy. I mean seriously guys, just watch this little clip that I'm about to insert right now and tell me that it does not make you smile. Or you know, just go outside and look up at the sky. The sky is beautiful. How can we be sad when we're looking at the sky? Anywhere in the world, you can obviously do this and it's great. Just get outside in nature and go for a walk. It'll help the mind, it'll help the body. It's so great for our mental well-being. Nothing makes me feel more at home, more connected to the world and just utterly at peace with myself than being outside in nature and taking a walk and being surrounded by trees. Just walking in nature can do so much good for the soul. So number two is sometimes you've just got to stop, take a minute and take in the absolute beauty that is around you. Stop for a moment and have gratitude. An example of this was last week I was in New York City walking by myself in Manhattan on a really busy street. The vibes around me all just felt like very stressed. Everyone was obviously in a rush and wanting to get to the place that they were going and it was a very cold day. It was even snowing. I was freezing but I kind of, I just stopped in the middle of the walkway. I just stopped for a moment and really just became aware of my surroundings and just said to myself, hey Danny, you're in New York City. It's absolutely beautiful and I was really just able to be there in the present moment and just connect with the world around me and it was so great just taking a moment to express gratitude to be thankful for experiencing this life that we're living and simply just being alive really changes our mind frame and just boosts our mood almost instantly it makes us feel just that little bit better through doing this on a daily basis our awareness starts to expand and we can really see this in all facets and start falling even deeper in love with life number three is that if you're not currently happy with where you are all you have to do is close your eyes and imagine the place where you want to be. Now it may not take you there physically but for a brief moment you'll get a glimpse into this happiness and from this experience we can learn that happiness truly does come from inside of you and this can help us to remember that. Happiness isn't something that you've got to like go out there and chase and find, it's within every single one of us. All we have to do is learn to associate with that part that is already inside of us. The material world is temporary and is forever changing so those things that make us happy now, those material objects and possessions, those aren't necessarily going to make us happy for years and years down the line. Those are temporary pleasures, so we need to find an unchangeable part of ourselves to identify with. Beauty fades, trends change, we get old, we age. In the end, the only thing that we will truly have from our birth right up until our death is the way our own mind functions and the way we treat ourselves in every present moment. The absolute core of who we are. Happiness is a personal thing and it's not something that anyone else can hold control over. Though it seems easy to at times, you can't attribute your own unhappiness because of anyone else in this world. Those are all just excuses that we make up and let manifest in our minds so that we're giving rise to the power of taking our happiness away, when in reality they have no control over it. When somebody says something that provokes a negative response out of you, now although this is natural, you are still letting yourself react in this way. It's all about your attitude, your mindset and positive way of thinking. It is a mental state that you have to place in yourself. Happiness is now. Happiness is not in the future and happiness is not in the past. Happiness was not yesterday and happiness is not tomorrow. Happiness is only now and it is a mindset that you can have in this exact present moment. You can't make excuses and say that you're going to be happy when you go on this holiday or whatever because going on a holiday is just changing the piece of land that you're in. It's nothing to do with your actual 
frame of mind. Holding on to that will only hold you back as happiness has to be a choice that you make right now. And also just remember that happiness is a relative thing so your happiness will not be anywhere near the same as what someone else's happiness might be. You can't attribute your own happiness to what you think it's supposed to be in movies or what your friends telling you theirs is. It's all an individualistic thing. Sure, it can be enhanced by other people or by material objects but you have to create it yourself and only by realizing that you are creating and defining your own happiness will you ever truly find happiness. Number four on my list of my personal keys to happiness is to stop caring about what other people think. Now I know this one is easier said than done but I can't begin to tell you how much better my life has been since I've been able to do this. Now this doesn't mean that you're insensitive or don't care about others. It's just so liberating to live life authentically, genuinely and entirely from the heart. This is something that I struggled a lot with in high school but ever since I've been able to do it I've just felt so much more free. Now I think the key to doing this is don't worry about what anyone else says or thinks about you because their opinion of you is a reflection on themselves, not on you. If someone is truly, genuinely happy, it is almost impossible to put down and ridicule others. Them doing so is coming from a reflection on their own insecurities. So just do you, don't let anyone hold you back, take chances, make mistakes, and just live your life. Number five, now for the final little life hack on happiness is Maybe a simple one, but we often forget to do it, and it is to smile. This one is all about smiling when you're realizing you're not smiling. I often do this when I'm like in the middle of an essay, and I'm getting real stressed out, and I'm just like, what is life? And then I just start smiling, and then it's crazy. After a little while, it actually starts to improve your mood. Even if there's nothing to smile about, scientific tests do show that smiling releases endorphins that puts our brain in a better state of being. It's a little life hack that we often forget to use, but this one can not only help us, but those around us, is if they see you smiling, they might be inclined to smile back. If you're out there just living your life, doing your groceries or whatever, I really do encourage you just to smile. Because when you're doing kind of these mindless tasks, it really will slowly boost your mood, which is awesome. This one can be done anywhere at any time, and it really is a beautiful thing to see how it can impact not only us, but others around us. So those are my five little life hacks for happiness that I use to improve my day life so hopefully they can in some way be implemented into your life too I would love to know in the comments down below what you guys do to make yourself that little bit more happier on the daily so if you did enjoy these steps don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already so I hope you guys have a very happy day and I will see you guys next week bye